Today we're going to make truss bridges. This is part of a series where we're looking at the different basic types of bridges and uh, we've talked in the, previously about how bridges fall into seven different types. We're focusing on the just the four types that are the most suitable for building with Kiva planks or with loose parts. The easiest bridges of these are beam bridges and we did that previously and so that's the best place to start. Truss bridges are a little bit harder to build so uh, you'll be better off to have success at the beam bridges which are quite easy. They'll feel successful and then be ready to move on to the um, to the bigger challenge with making truss bridges. With Google search, you can click on images and you'll instantly see lots of different examples of truss bridges from around the world. So one question you can ask them after they've looked at these is what is a, one of the common features of they see of these types of bridges, of truss bridges, and the answer is triangles. Truss bridges are all about triangles. One of the things that I use to help me remember that is that truss and triangle both start with the TR. So one thing to note about bridges is ironically that triangles are used with truss bridges to make them uh, more, uh, to give them more strength. When you're making truss bridges with Kiva planks, the triangles do not really add any strength to the structure. You'll be leaning planks against one another to create the look. It's, it's a nice uh, physical challenge to, to work on and it is totally doable. The first challenge is actually a non-bridge challenge and this is really a way to explore different ways that you can make upright triangle shapes and that's the foundation of making the, the truss bridges. Don't worry about having it elevated so it looks like a bridge or anything. Just start on the floor or a flat table. Depending on your students and their age and their motivation you may be able to just stay with this totally open-ended. If they're struggling with it you may want to jump in and give them a few tips and one of the tips is that it is very difficult to just on a table uh, balance a couple of keyboard planks like this into sort of a tent-like shape. You have to get them lined up perfectly and they will frequently fall. It's an exercise in frustration to be doing that. Create some sort of uh, upright that is secure. It might be one block, maybe by changing the orientation like this. Uh, if you have the blocks like this and you lean something, that's going to push it over, but it has a little bit more security if you have it oriented this direction and then you lean a block against it. And also as you, uh, if you're building just a post structure and then you start to put weight on top of that, then that makes the block more secure. And then after the fact, after you get the thing structurally made, you can go back and add um, more planks to, to create the triangle look. Another tip is that often with a plank that is leaning like this, when it wants to slip out at the base, that uh, sometimes you need to figure out a way to create resistance down at the bottom to keep that from slipping out. This is a particularly important time to do the gallery walk so that they can go around and see what others have done because there's a lot of different ways to work through this. Invite students to, to share which were their favorites or how they came to, to do this particular technique versus another one. And then the next challenge, a secondary activity, would be to actually build a small truss bridge. This might be a five to ten minute activity and then they'll be taking their, their triangle making skills that they just uh, they just created and, and learned how to do that and this time they can raise that up a little bit and make it start to look like a bridge but this will still be a small simple bridge uh, but we're just progressing to take the triangles put them into a bridge do a gallery walk when you're done with that so they can see what others have done and then we finally get to the part where we're actually building a truss bridge that might uh, might look more impressive. Uh, I would give more time to this one and uh, they can build it as long or as tall as they like or as they have time to do, but uh, allow them a bigger chunk of time, 10 to 30 minutes maybe, to, to actually build a bridge. Once they're finished with their, uh, their truss bridge, then uh, You'll again want to do a gallery walk and there will be more to admire this time because it'll be bigger structures. This is a good time to take photos of what has been made so that they can remember what they did because there'll be some very technical building in order to create those supports and it'll be helpful for them if they're doing another building a bridge again in the future to be able to look back on that and say, oh yeah, this is how I did that. So hope you enjoy building your trust bridges. So until next time, uh, go build a mind.